Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so in this video, we're going to have a practical conversation on the alternator, what it does, and how you guys can test the alternator to see whether it's working properly or not, and the issues that you will have with the alternator if if you're in a situation where your car starts having issues with a power issues no start issues are just dying out on you which is 99 percent of the situations where you see vehicles stuck on the side of the road all right if you guys don't know what an alternator is alternator essentially is a component uh under the hood most of the time and it is connected to the engine by the serpentine belt, all right? And that serpentine belt essentially drives the alternator's pulley. It turns it. It's essentially a reverse motor. It turns it. And what it does is as it turns, it actually produces electricity. Now, it's connected directly to the well, I wouldn't say maybe there's a fuse or a relay somewhere in the line, but essentially it's connected to the battery and it's connected to the battery because because it charges the battery. It is the main component that charges the battery. If you guys did not have the alternator, the battery would be a one time use thing because once it gets to zero, it's going to it's going to stay at zero. The alternator consistently charges the battery. That's what it does. That's essentially its only job. Now, can an alternator operate without the battery? If you can turn your vehicle on, yes, the alternator can operate without the battery because the alternator, uh, with just the alternator, with the car engine running, essentially the alternator becomes the power source as long as the engine is running. So, so it's it's an integral part of your vehicle. Now, when do alternators go bad? Here's the thing. When the alternator is working correctly, um, it should be putting out anywhere between 13.7 to 14.5 volts. All right. Uh, your normal voltage on your battery fully charged is 12.6. When the alternator is running, it's putting out between 13.7 and 14.5 volts. Um, if you guys have a voltmeter, you guys can measure it and it'll tell you the, 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 whether the alternator is good or not. If your alternator does not put out that kind of voltage, if it puts out maybe around the 13 volt mark or no voltage at all or 12.6 or something like that, if it gets to that kind of you see that kind of voltage on a multimeter, most of the time, that's not going to be enough of an output to charge anything. Okay, knowing that, how do you test the alternator to see whether it's good or not, aside from having a voltmeter, because most people do not have a voltmeter with them when they have issues with power when they have issues with the vehicle dying on them when they have issues with not being able to start when the vehicle dies on them now 99 percent of the time when the alternator goes out it goes out when your car or truck is or your vehicle is running when the engine is running whether it's idling or whether you're driving on the highway or the street or wherever you are if it dies on you 99% of the time, 99% of the time, if it dies on you, it's because the alternator has not charged the battery. Now, for the most part, if it dies on you on the road and it's the cause of the alternator, just know 
that you were probably driving on the battery alone for a good for a good amount of miles not a good amount of miles maybe like you know the battery itself you have a full battery if you have a good full battery it could probably take you anywhere from 40 miles to to i don't know 10 depending on what 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 electrical components you have on like the radio the ac the blower motor etc etc it can actually uh take you from just the battery alone from 40 miles uh i've heard from 40 miles to to you know whatever it is all right just on the battery alone now your alternator would have died out a long time ago before that reason being is that um, your alternator is going to charge up your battery to the point it doesn't charge up the battery. Once it doesn't charge up your battery, you're going to be driving just on the battery alone. So, how do you test if it's the alternator or the battery? In these situations where your vehicle was running, was driving, idling or whatever, and all of a sudden you get a power outage in your vehicle, chances are it's your alternator a lot of people don't really know how the alternator works because if you see and i see this often on the on the streets on the roads on the freeways where a car is stuck and there's another car uh maybe they're their friends maybe uh there's somebody who's trying to help them out but most of the time they're their friends or relatives who are trying to help them out they actually try to charge up the battery now now if you guys put cables on a vehicle with a dead alternator, um, it will start again, but it will die immediately when you take the cables off. Reason being is that it starts up and it runs off of the battery from the other vehicle, not off the alternator or the battery on your vehicle that's dead. And um, a lot of people mistake this problem when the car has run dead on the freeway or the streets or whatever they mistake that it's probably the battery that's the problem so they try to charge up the battery which doesn't work and i see this all the time now that's the that's the test if you guys have no if you guys have no other instruments to test out the alternator to see what the voltage is that it's putting out if you guys put cables to jump the vehicle and it jumps and starts up when it's running and then when you take the cables off and it dies out immediately or if it dies out within oh i don't know uh a cup a minute or two most of the time it dies out immediately because your battery is probably dead or damaged at that point i mean you could put cables on there you could try to charge it up but it'll probably charge it up for five hours and then you drive it and then in about t for like 10 miles and then they'll die out now a lot of people think well maybe they'll just put another battery in and that'll solve the problem putting a new battery in will not solve the problem because your alternator won't be charging the battery and what you end up is a battery that's dead and damaged and you paid i don't know anywhere from 80 to 200 dollars, or sometimes even more for a new battery and the, and the battery is damaged after that situation. Now, if you guys are stuck in this situation where your alternator is dead and you're not too far from your house, what you could do, or not if you're not too far from your house or someplace where you can take the vehicle to get a repair, what you can do is you can get actually get a new battery, pop it in, and you can get about, I don't know, on average, about 15 to 20 miles off that battery until it dies out completely. Um, if you guys don't have any of the accessor electrical accessories on in your vehicle. I mean, that's a way to get your vehicle from point A to point B short distance without having a tow if you guys have a dead alternator. But in any case, you would have to get, um, you, have, you would have to repair you would have to change out the alternator because without the alternator, your battery will not be charged uh, at all and you're going to run into the same situation that you have. Now, there have been instances where an alternator 
it goes bad, but it doesn't go dead. It goes bad because it only puts out a low voltage. Some alternators that have issues put out higher voltage, and you do not want that. All right, you do not want fit malfunctioning alternators that put out just enough voltage to <clears throat> to have your to, to just keep the battery at a medium um, at a, at a medium level where sometimes if you turn on the radio, that's just enough of a power surge to uh, to to cause issues with power usage in your vehicle. You want that alternator to put out anywhere from 13.7 to 14.5 volts um, for your battery so that your battery can be topped off. If your battery is constantly not being topped off, if your battery is always at a medium level, that could damage your battery and you always have electrical problems. So keep in mind, in these situations, if you guys need to test whether it's the alternator uh, what, if the alternator has issues or not, those are the ways to test it. If you guys have any questions or any comments, definitely uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and take care, guys.